here we are on uh, 7.05 p.m. on Tuesday, August 20th, 2019, and we're at the composter. Uh, you can probably hear the chickens in the background, but uh, we're right near the chicken yard. But we're going to try to confirm whether these compostable bags work or not. They are, it says on here, certified compostable for both commercial and facilities and backyard composting. Commercial facilities may not exist in your area locally. There's a certification number, BPI combustible, TUV Austria, something home on there. It says this bag is composed compostable and here we have it says ASTM D6400 it looks like certified material you know avoid suffocation warning and it says crown poly on it crown poly.com so I'll have to check their website to see if there's anything special I have to do to compost this but I tried this in the past and it hasn't worked. Um, so we have one, two, three, four. And I have some more in there. Uh, I already spun this around and I dug them out. I'm going to add in some good old paper shop right bags. And I bet you these compost up a lot faster. Um, good old shop right paper. Uh, recycled paper bag. We make it easy to recycle at ShopRite. Recycled paper bag. Um, and they use 60% uh, recyclable material in this bag. Uh, back in the day they didn't do that. Uh, made in USA bag. Oh, it says made from 100% recycle, recycled material. Please recycle the bag. Um, and I guess this must mean at least 60% may have been used. Rainforest Alliance certified. Uh, recycled material. So we're going to throw three of these in here. And uh, into this compost. And pretty much what I compost here is uh, the premium horse bedding I use for the base of the chicken uh, run. Uh, where they sleep up at night, where they roost. And I pick up the chicken droppings every day, put them in here. I also have some bananas, watermelon, some greens are in here, corn on the cob. I got uh, corn husks in here, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of organic material. And this really turns into black gold and makes the garden uh, really grow. So here we are, like I said, middle of August. And I can usually compost this stuff down in five weeks. Um, this is number three of the three composters I have. Plus I have a pile of stuff. So I'm always uh, trying to compost because I really do believe that we need to compost to keep the uh, material out of our dumps and har harming the environment that way because we're going to run out of garbage space. So if you can cut thousands of pounds out of the, the dump, by composting it helps but I want to see if this these bags I have not had any luck of composting these in the past maybe these are different but it says on air compostable you know it's got all these certified and feel good things on here um, so we'll know in uh, five weeks or so so middle of August We'll give it to the end of September, and um, maybe I'll do some weekly updates and see how we're going. These compostable plastics versus good old paper. So I know they're used for two different things, but with all these bag taxes and stuff like that, as I want to see if these bag taxes and stuff, you know, they want to they want to tax us paper bag 10 cents in New Jersey um, and I can compost this so this is not going to harm the environment this 
they're not they're not supposed to tax this because this is just for vegetables um, but I don't want the place I got this at the organic farm I belong to and I don't want them wasting money on these things if this is not going to compost and I'm sure the the stores will follow along because it's all feel good um, you know oh I feel good because you know I bought this compostable bag that really doesn't compost but so maybe an alternative is to I don't know if there's a way they can treat paper um, that eventually it'll compost down so it holds the water so if you do use vegetables I mean it's it's something that would have to be developed but um, if I'm almost guaranteed this is going to be broken down within a couple weeks uh, you'll see how fast but uh, through three of them uh, we have three paper bags in there we got a bunch of the plastics and we'll see what happens these are going to go I'm sure at the end like last year these hung around and when I dumped the compost out even after months uh, I let it sit outside all sp all winter and then spring and then when I went to rototill the garden, these things were wrapping around the rototiller. So, zero compost last year. So hopefully they changed their formula or whatever. Uh, we'll see what happens and we'll go from there. We're back at the composter and uh, I just added a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll go over that in a second, but I'll just show you the uh, chicken yard. And uh, I threw some watermelon rinds. I uh, and I cut the watermelon up this morning and the, the chickens are already on there eating that stuff. So when they get done eating, I'll put that in here. Um, so you can see there's some from before. Watermelon rinds, cantaloupe, or you want to call it muskmelon rinds. You got egg uh, shell in there. Here's some from the corn when I peel the corn back. I threw some paper towel in here. These uh, ShopRite paper bags. And here's our plastic bag that's allegedly compostable. And we'll find out in a few weeks. But last year when I did this, in the spring, after even sitting out here all summer, they ended up in that same condition and they were wrapped around the tines of the rototiller, um, which is kind of annoying to have to pick out in the spring because that's supposed to be a compostable bag. And what else we have in here is a uh, the premium horse bedding that I use at the base of the chicken roost um, at night when they poop. I pick that up every morning and uh, put that in here. You can see there's little pieces of corn cob because I break the ends off and I throw that out to the hens and they love it. Um, and here is the wood shavings. I keep a pile of that handy because when you compost you want to have some brown material in your compost. Uh, just not green and all that nitrogen stuff so you want to have a little of this in there because it keeps down the uh, smell um, you don't even smell this like I've smelt people's compost and it's ridiculously smelly but if you put the uh, some brown material in there you don't get that problem so you, if you kind of read up on this stuff uh, you definitely want to have some brown material in your compost and then here we are this is a few weeks into it um, let's see, there's something here. I guess that's some, I guess some watermelon rind still in here, but this is breaking down really nice here. This is only uh, a couple weeks into starting. Um, it takes a few weeks to fill a composter up. So after a few weeks, then I just cut it off and let it finish. And it gets real cooking in there. Uh, it's middle of August, so it has had plenty of heat. Uh, so you want to keep it watered but not overwater it and you don't want to overdo it because uh, if you overdo it you can actually kill the enzymes and you will lose the heat but these are the lifetime the large lifetime brand uh, composters and I got three of them so we're gonna walk over here to this this one's finished I have to cut the weeds back all the time over here because they grow like wild um, because what happens is when you water the compost, a little bit of the water comes out and it's like liquid fertilizer. So it's hard to keep up with the weeds growing around the composter that grow so fast. So I had to bring the weed whacker out later and knock that stuff down. But this is the final result. I'll be taking this out of here. Uh, I'll be cutting that other composter off soon. And um, 
this is what you want to have in your garden, you know, break it up a little bit. And that's just pretty much, it went back to soil. All that stuff I showed you over there, usually in five or six weeks, uh, that's the result. Uh, this hasn't been out here more than five weeks. And if you dig around in here, all that same stuff, there was even bags in here and shells and everything else, you know, make sure it stays moist. Uh, don't overwater it. Spin it around every day or so. And uh, you'll have nice compost for the garden. And this stuff is like, why buy fertilizer? Uh, this is a nature's natural fertilizer here and you'll have the best plants ever. So um, that's what you want. Kind of did this handheld and I had to wait for, so hot out here and humid. I had to wait for the lens to clear because it was so cold in the air condition inside the house and I brought it out here today. It, um, it all fogged over. So we'll let you know in a couple weeks. This is what my hope where I end up results. Hopefully those uh, plastic bags compost down this year and uh, we'll see what happens because I don't want those around the uh, tines of the rototiller again. Alright, we'll give you an update soon.